All right, the next panel we want to build out here is this uh, eye stay. And uh, it's right there. And you'll notice, of course, that uh, if I change this to wireframe, you'll notice that if we look through this, we can see that the uh, eye stay has eyelets in it. And it also has stitching going around it. So um, when I thicken this panel, I want to accommodate for both of those things. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn off this saddle because I don't need that to be on. Um, and let's see, the first thing I want to do, first thing I notice here is that uh, we know that the more square or equal sided the polygons are for drilling holes or creating holes within our object, the better off we are. So, so it's not such a, a parallelogram here, it's more of a... Uh, a uh, square polygon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a little tweaking on this and um, let's see here. If I grab an edge, I can grab an edge and, and slide it actually so I can uh, move it. But I want to set my action center to uh, selection and that's going to allow me to slide it right along just like that. So this is not such a big parallelogram. Now it might be that uh, I want to work in, uh, instead of wireframe, I might want to work in uh, shaded mode or texture or texture shaded, some other mode that lets me see it. But as was the last panel, it did kind of sink beneath the the inner shell in, in some parts. So what I want to do real quick before I get too heavily into this is go to the deform panel, go down to push, and I'm going to click on the viewport and I'm just going to push this out and that's just going to lift everything out equally along its surface normal. Let's go and select some uh, edges. I'll just uh, speed through this process and you can uh, kind of follow along at your own pace. I think the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add a couple of edge loops on this surface um, to assist when I start uh, creating the stitching. Um, they will uh, help act as a, a little trough for the uh, stitches to sit in. So I'm just going to put one on each side here and I'll add another one right about here. And now uh, let's see what that looks like. Eh, I might need to slide those a little bit and I'm good with that. Okay. Next thing, let's uh, select these polygons and go ahead and bevel those guys. And same with this one, two, three. All right, so now I'm going to hit the B key for bevel. I'll go to my uh, property tools, the K key. Um, go to group polygons, don't need thicken. Everything looks good there, except for segments should be set to one and we are good and i'm just going to just scale this in just a little bit sometimes you'll need to kind of over scale it in other words scale it in a little farther than you need because when you delete those polygons that hole is going to stretch out a little bit more okay and since we have everything selected already let's just go ahead and go to our um, deform tool i'm going to drop that go to radial click in the viewport and those should be all perfectly square. Right down there. And yeah, I, I think we're good here. So I'm gonna select that, 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 that one and that one, hit the delete key and there we go. All right, next step is to drop this down inside the shoe. So we're going to go to the deform tab again, go to push, click in the viewport and just push this down so that it is inside that 
shoe panel there or inside the uh, the inner shell. Now go to bevel and I'm going to go ahead and pull this out a little bit right about there. Yeah, and I think this is working for the most part. Uh, we can come back later as we build and uh, make some minor adjustments here and there. All right. Now this might be sitting a bit proud, so I uh, might want to just drop it down a little bit. Action center selection. And we'll just bring this down just a little. So yeah, I think we're good for now on the ice day. And like I mentioned, uh, we could uh, come back later and continue tweaking this panel as we continue our build on the shoe.